Good evening, family, and thank you for coming to our show, Deb Chanel's 48th World, along with the family affair. Okay. No, Elijah. I just want to say good evening, and fam, what the hell is going on? What kind of fake foolery, fuckery, fraudulent, shitty activity of a behavior and demeanor going on at that real house or going on at the real housewives of atlanta okay you know that's our stumping ground y'all like it i like it it's mindless drama and it's always something between nene leaks and brothel entertainment whether it's with her cast members or with the executives themselves i don't heard just about this whole week nene been into it she been into it with andy coin won't him fire don't know how true that is that's allegedly then we got this situation where she tweeting out on uh the Instagram, not Instagram, Twitter, where she's um saying you won't get away with this. I'm like, man, if we're in a murder mystery type of saga or something, I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so I'm coming to my family, my YouTube family, to help me weigh in on this situation. Cause I'm like, name, name, it's the writing on the wall for you, baby. But you bringing in that so-called lawyer. Earlier on, I think prior to um, season 12 even coming on the air, you know, is Marlo going to take your place, girl? As the real HBIC on Housewives of Atlanta, have you walked your final walk, girl? Looking like Marilyn Monroe in that picture. Okay. But I, I don't know, girl. A black version, of course. <sighs> Nene, what you doing? <laughs> Did your contract did not get renewed the way you wanted it to get renewed? And help me, family, because I thought I heard way back when sometime that Nene had got a three-year contract move where <gasps> everything was set in stone that she would definitely be a part of Housewives until 2023, <gasps> I think. We went 2021, 20, 20, or 2022. So, I did, did, did they do something? I tell you, Elijah, 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 come here. Okay, I'm going to shut the door on you. I'm going to shut the door. Get in here. Get out of there. Get, get, come on out of there. Get in this room. I'm sorry, Elijah. He always want to wake up and do stuff. Like, damn, I took a nap and he took a nap too. Now he got all this energy. My goodness. Anyway, we got Showbiz Cheat Sheet, and we got Love B. Scott draining out all the tea for us. Okay, draining out all the excess tea for us to sip on. I'm like, what? Then we got Nene coming back saying, she, she that was a just, uh, I guess, embellishment. She ain't going nowhere, okay? And we know even Marcel got fired. And I'm like, we all knew that would come, man. You know, because she was just totally bored. She was worse than Cynthia, okay? And we don't just been neutral with Cynthia. I don't even care one way or the other whether they keep her or she stay. You know, I'm just like, go be happy with your future husband and get all that going on. And I guess Cynthia will be back. Maybe she'll be a friend of the show. I, I don't know because, see, we got one slot open, which is Eva's Marcel. Now, I heard they want to bring on Tamar. I don't know if that's a good deal. Because I damn sure don't see them Braxton sisters up in here. That's enough just to see they show. And I used to cover they show a good while ago. But they just pretty much got on my nerves. Um, so I, I don't want to see them. I, I really don't. Uh, but if Tamar came on that show, ooh, honey, she'll rock some boats. That would be a fierce competition right there. Especially if Nene left or became a friend of the family. Because uh, Bravo is pushing out some people. Hey, if they do it to the Caucasian women, you know they can do it to the black women, too, on the show. Or the Asian women, or anywhere, wherever they feel they need to get they, uh, more bang for their dollar, they going to do it. So, I don't know, maybe he got interrupted, and maybe the negotiation went kind of sour, and maybe that's why Needy didn't get her... Um, her letter yet. I, I'm really not sure because she didn't come on anybody's platform or her own and said, well, I got picked up for season 13. It's always something. So I don't know if that's just like a PR stunt. They always pull that. You know, everybody else get their contracts. And then Nene just be asking for ungodly type 
things in her contract. And they be like, well, wait a minute. We know we bring you back, but mm -mm, we got we to gotta negotiate on some of this stuff. Something you may get, something you may not. Because you ain't all that. We'll build another person like you, okay? And you sh soon will be shortly forgotten about giving enough years, okay? So it ain't like everybody like you, Nene. Don't go that way, okay? You got your likes and you got your dislikes, okay? And then you got your some folks on the fence, you know? <sighs> it's just one of those things. But let's get on into the story so I can give y'all my commentary on what I heard and what I read as well as we can get down and let get in them comments and let you all discuss what y'all felt about this allegation that Nene may not be coming back. Because like I said, for the last three or four years, Nene been playing that game anyway and, you know, driving up more drama um, when it's, until it's time to go for them to start back taping, which I think was, what, September sometime. So, uh, this is maybe another plot or another ploy. But it just is what it is. And we definitely know that he was not coming back. So, then I heard that Kenya Moore may not be coming back either. She may be, um, what do you call it? Being romanced by another, um, hush, another network on getting her own show with Mark. And I'm like, Mark and TV programming. He don't want to do that, girl. And I don't know if we really want to sit and see the life of you and Mark and him treating you. Because I don't think too much has changed in that scenario of him being on TV and see him or not see him on a show. So I don't know how true that may be as well. But it just is what it is. But we get on into this article. Armando Tentacle um, wrote out a piece, a commentary for us. And he said, bloop. Nene Leach drops bombshell after Real Housewives of Atlanta firing reports, okay? That's the title of his um, article he wrote up on this particular storyline, okay? It says, Nene Leach from the Real Housewives of Atlanta has been in the news this week. After the report surfaced, she has been axed from the show. The tastiest peach has been posting cryptic messages on Twitter that has had fans trying to guess the contract negotiations drama. Rumor has it that pickups have gone out for the Atlanta Peaches and leaks may not be coming back. However, the Glee alarm dropped a bombshell on Twitter that changed the narrative completely. I don't know why they get, well, I can see why they keep advertising because she was a character in the Glee uh, show. But I'm like, Glee was on for a long time. I don't think Nene had but like three or four parts in the show in that particular sitcom and that requires her as an actress. Okay, okay, moving on from that. Um, next uh, part of his article says, uh, Nene has, has Nene Leakes been fired? Leakes have been on The Real Housewives of Atlanta and has been a castmate for 10 out of 12 season, seasons that have aired on Bravo. The OG of Atlanta is one of the most recognizable faces from the Housewives franchise um, or chises. Going into season 13, her future on the show is grim. Especially after storming off the season uh, 12 reunion. The come and get this honey hit maker has been posting strange messages on Twitter with no context. There was one in particular that alarmed fans she had been fired from the reality series. You are not going to get away with this, I promise. Leaks wrote in a since deleted tweet. Now, that's the one that if you go out, well, it's, it's, if you were lucky enough to follow Nene and see it while she had it posted, it was on her Twitter account, and it was just a, a statement or a sentence that said, you're not going to get away with this, I promise. So, you know, I'm just like, these are like cryptic notes, just like they said, onto like a murder mystery type of situation. You, She could be talking about the situation or she could just be alluding to the situation just to get you bought back in for season 13 and starring her of course okay because uh, Nene has said it and it, it don't got much playback and we're tying we're kind of tired or I'm kind of tired of uh, rehashing it that she's a self-appointed claims uh HBIC okay but anyway speculations of the future of leaks only grew when several blogs claimed she had not reached an agreement with Bravo to return for season 13. Since the rumors began to intensify, Leak's manager has issued a statement shutting down the claims. It is absolutely not true that Nene has been fired from Real Housewives of Atlanta, Stephen Grossman told People. Furthermore, it was made abundantly clear prior 
uh, prior that she will always be welcome on the series as long as she wants to be. And I'm like, oh, okay, all right, all right, all right. Well, Nini, I don't, I don't think she's sitting at that executive table making any of those um, statements or, or comments. She can plead her case, but... You know, it just is what it is. It's their television programming show. If they don't want you anymore, they just don't want you anymore. You could keep claiming and uh, telling them how worthy you are to be making X amount of millions. But in reality, it is just a show. They always say, meaning all of the cast members have come out of their mouth stating, it's entertainment. You know, it's a reality show that depicts some parts of our life, but the rest is kind of entertainment. So basically, they were telling us, giving us head up, heads up, that half the stuff is just fictional. We have to make it look and embellish a lot, but that's really not going on in our lives. But I'm like, some of you all, like Kenya, Nene, mm, let's see, and uh, Eva, of course, y'all took it to another whole level. Or fantasy to where it kind of makes us wonder do you really act like that in real life well we know Nene can get down real ugly and bad when people approach her in public and she's not wanting the attention you get what I'm saying in other words Nene said well, if I go out and I don't acknowledge you then don't acknowledge me but if I go out and I want to sign autographs and stuff like that you'll know <laughs> other than that she's just Pulling up the window of her car driving on by you. All right. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, Leaks manager said the Real Housewives of Atlanta Star is having a bigger conversation with NBC Universal and have not made any decisions regarding next season specifically. Any speculations or sources trying to create controversy by stating otherwise or complete women are incredibly inaccurate. Bloop. Uh, the cable network also issued a statement saying that conversations with leaks were ongoing. Leaks herself also dropped a bombshell blasting the report. She has been cut from the show. She helped uh, be the star making platform it is today. Uh, but then why would you post something, Nene, that says, I promise I'll be the first to tell you all uh, myself. Thank you for the love, she tweeted. After you had tweeted, you won't get away with this. I mean, is it silver unrest over there at the Bravo camp? Or are you the only one trying to make waves that something uh, not kosher is going on? They're having hitting uh, discriminatory, or discriminatory type practices going on over there when it comes to women of the show or uh, a race barrier part of the show or just giving out special... Uh, spinoffs of the show and you're not being partaked of or you're not being a party that they're giving that same effort and um recommendation to have your own show or spinoff you know it's all that kind of you know going on behind the scenes are you trying to work that into your contract i mean i don't know <laughs> i mean you can't force nobody to do nothing they need again it's not your show you just play on this show and i feel you are an intricate piece to the uh bravo collection but don't get it twisted it's still their show they call the shots and the rules so don't bite too far on that um pickle that you're eating on okay because it just might crack off and you're gonna have mud on your face where they're gonna say your services are no longer needed and the door is closed <laughs> so nini don't be greedy girl don't be greedy don't bite the hand that feeds you baby but anyway um then uh, we're going back to the article. It says, does Nene Leakes want to come back? Leakes has been pondering the idea of the, re the returning of the Real Housewives of Atlanta for season 13. As she did uh, not ha have a good time filming in season 12. I don't know. I just don't know, Leakes told people mm -hmm. in May about returning. I got back and forth. I go I go, I meant to say I go back and forth every day. I feel like it's a big conversation I need to have with the network, with the production, because if they vary their talent in some sort of way, then we need to talk. We need to come up with some type of compromise here. And just like I said, just with my little sidebar, when is greed going to stop? When is enough is going to be enough? You know what I'm saying? Because, hey, we can negotiate all we want on our everyday normal jobs out here. 
in the real world. But they still going to come up with a situation where if you don't like what you're getting paid or you don't like the raise or the increment we're going to give you as a raise. If you don't like it, bounce, baby, bounce. You know, because Georgia is a state where they don't have to keep you. We don't have no unions out there fighting for our jobs. It's an a revolving door. We'll get somebody. No, may not have your uh, match up with your talents uh, that we've been used to seeing on a um, – each episode of a season we go through, but damn sure somebody else can play up the part or do it much better and quicker than um, it has been done with dealing with you. Uh, because I have heard Nene has been quite a diva over there, uh, expecting and, and demanding certain things that are just not, how you can say, uh, expected of. You know, of a human being. Again, like I said, how much can you expect for a network to pay you? I mean, you literally do nothing but come out your house or you film little parts and pieces in your house and then you get into it with your co-stars. How much hard work is that, Nene? <laughs> I'm, you know, I don't know. Because the stories we really wanted you to play up was, are you in an open marriage relationship? Were you and Greg really talking about it? Were you really discussing it? If you really wanted to spice up the stuff, give give them something more graphic. Give them something more detailed and interesting, okay? Because it is a reality show. Now, if, if you go around talking about you can't take this, you can't take that, this is not appropriate, I'm not going to be a part of this, then your value, your worth comes a little lesser when it times to when it comes to tap down to sitting at the uh, negotiation table, okay? That's just my pun intended. That's just my belief, okay? But going back to the article, it says, uh, Nene is saying in a separate interview, she said she didn't want to c- continue to be on the show if she wasn't going to be, if she was going to be arguing with other co-stars all the time. But Nene, that was the forefront of the show from its induction, baby girl. That's all y'all been doing since season one of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, season one, episode one, up to we're filming episode 13. Are we trying to get into the swing of things of filming sometime in the fall? Child, that's all this show is about, drama and arguments. Senseless drama, mindless drama, and y'all using every type of illicit, degrading type of wording you can possibly find for one another. So I don't understand the formula you're trying to give us so it's always been arguments nene not understanding that that's my sidebar but going back to the article it says lisa also said she had been doing therapy to make sure she was in a good place to resume filming uh that therapist you had nene she is kind of questionable baby I, I need you to go well that shepherd lady or the one y'all did have on that portia and uh stop it portia and dennis was saying I don't know how credible. I mean, she's credible. She's a psychiatrist, psychologist, counselor, whatever, however you want to see her. But it, it doesn't seem like she gets to the meat and potatoes either. Uh, I don't know if that's just for filming purposes or whatnot. But sometimes you don't really need a therapist. You just need to lay in your shit, stand up in your shit, and clean up your shit pretty much. All right, I'm just saying. Uh, anyway, we go back to the article. It says, I'm doing some therapy and I want to be able to be in a good place. Lisa explains to E.T. And I want to be able to have a friend on the show. That's one of the things that I think is not fair. And I'm like, Nene, I thought Portia was your friend. Girl, see what I'm saying? You be talking out the side of your neck. I mean, you have definitely been in friendships with every last one of these, um, of your co-stars, your constituents. You know what I'm saying? You bet had a good relationship with Cynthia. You fell out with her. Um, well, you use candy just to get on the other side and see what the other women are doing. And she likes to be used that way, or it seems that way, meaning candy. We know you're never going to actually, um, give Kenya any olive branches. You know, we saw how that demi- that debacle of a, uh, repairing type of re- friendship, um, that, Cynthia gave both of y'all as an olive branch to work through your situations of not liking each other for whatever the reason may be. And uh, we saw how that fell through on season 12. So we already know 
that's you're gonna be after her all the time and king's gonna be after you all the time that's kind of the sit in stone type of thing y'all want to keep creating on this show and it's okay okay but sometimes nanny it is a time where everything comes to an end and you have to find other avenues to make your money because if the show is really getting on your nerves you know you need to let it go you know it's it, peace is better than any price of money these days because they worry you that bad and you start freaking out and you come out your mentality then where you gonna be up in some behavior hospital and i'm pumping you with drugs and all this other, other kind of stuff to manage your health problem you are you gonna forget who you are you're gonna slide into dementia because you don't got so worked up on this show and these people where they don't draw you crazy girl don't draw you off your rock or how my mom used to say when it comes to your mind so we don't want to see that happen to you nini i really for you to just quit the show and you go into buying businesses or buying a lot of stock investing in that way and try to still live the life of luxury you love to have but you know ain't nothing worth your peace of mind baby and you can't make people pay you more because ain't nobody gonna see your worth the way you see it it's just that's just a fact of life okay so i wanted to scoot over to um little b scott and see what um they were pretty much saying because she also brought out the story uh on nene leaks not coming back to the show and usually when she breaks something uh or brings something to um the platform and talk about it she usually be on point because she is an independent type of uh vlogging institute and she has to kind of be on um what do you call it on the scene of knowing what's what because she can seek litigation for um putting out false information now they say michelle brown is in nini's pocket as well as they say um what do you call it uh little b scott is in kenya moore's pocket so they use these two high powerful women in the uh entertainment world to spread whatever message they want to spread okay and they hide behind them uh dropping a story and getting everybody intrigued to hear about it or wanting to hear everybody else talk about it to see if they're really going to uh give us the true tea but um let me see can't seem to find it here Let's see, Bubby Scott. Bear with me, bear with me, guys. You know I gotta be nosy. I gotta find all the all the heat that's going on. And what do y'all think about Candy Burris, uh, calling herself teaming up with the uh, uh, LGBT community? What do y'all think about that? Is she using that culture of people to further her agenda? Because she knows the LBG community, when you support them, they support you. And they do it hard, okay? They be out there uh, going to and um, showcasing you on all their platforms. So I'm like, Candy, what are you doing? What are you doing, child? Are you trying to use somebody? Are you trying to use the LGBT community, honey, to further your agenda of making money? Child, I don't know. But that's I'm still watching that um, particular play out because I'm like, we all know Candy is bisexual. She is very fluent with or. Uh, uh, forthright when it comes to her sexuality even though she tries to say she's more uh heterosexual than bisexual but she has been in the later pool a time or two and she has enjoyed it okay but um yes we go to a lovey scott and she puts out an article i want to say it was today as well and she titles her article nene leaks fired not offered a contract to return to the real housewives of atlanta for season 13. she goes on to write or he goes on to write nene leaks has lost her peach for now sources exclusively tell lovebscott.com that nene leaks have not 
been offered an opportunity to return to the Real Housewives of Atlanta for season 13. Pickup letters allegedly went out last Friday via emails to each of the ladies. Representatives and Nene did not get one. <coughs> okay, even Marcel already announced she isn't returning. We ain't gonna pay too much attention to that part because we, we really don't uh, I really don't care about Eva uh, Marcel and her not getting a letter because she hasn't really not been there for season 11 or 12 okay uh, but going back to the article it says it's not surprising considering Nene Leake's tantamonious few years with the network producers and fellow castmates yeah because I saw something that she was trying to get Andy Cohen fired <laughs> like damn Nene you biting the hand that feeds your baby girl but they've been at each other's throats for some time now. That's just my sidebar. But going back to the article, it said Nene, Nene Leakes started off season 12 suspended following her alleg uh, alleged physical altercation with one of the cameramen in season 11. Of course, Nene, de uh, she came out to try to rebuke what was really going on. But, you know, it's always going to be the true story and it's going to be Bravo's story and it's going to be Nene's story. So if you believe she was um, not um, demoted, but she was punished or uh, she had to sit out some uh, episodes due to that, like I do, uh, then you with me. But, you know, you do have people that say, no, they believe Nene. And, you know, she said she was negotiating her contract. But, no, I think she was being punished for that infraction she did to the cameraman. Okay? But then going back to the article, it says, Then during the season, she popped off on a producer and walked off set while filming in Greece, in addition to not appearing in other episodes. She also walked off set multiple times during the season 12 virtual, virtual reunion. Not to mention she's allegedly been not so subtle threatening to sue the network. And we all remember all those issues okay and i'm like i don't know how nobody can punk you to be crazy when you're in your own house and they in their own house I, I i i didn't find the validity in that but you know hey i'm not nene i'm not in her train of thought she was doing her okay <clears throat> but going back to the article it says today wednesday nene took to twitter to threaten someone about getting away with something could she be talking about andy cohen okay we're told the final nail in the coffin was nene's recent tweeter uh, a tweet episode in which she retweeted a call for Real Housewives executive producer Andy Cohen to be fired. Okay, both Nene's rep and PMK published contacted Lil B. Scott and asked us to remove our post on the matter. We did not. That's what Lil B. Scott is saying. You know, freedom of speech, freedom of the press, uh, no censorship. That's what um, Lil B. Scott is putting out there. So evidently, since she didn't retract anything... It must be some truth to what Lil B. Scott is saying. Okay. Then it says sources close to Nene have confirmed exclusively that she does not uh, currently have an offer for season 13. Saying there is a large uh, NBC Universal conversation happening. It's all folded in two. We also reached out to sources close to the show who alleged Nene Leakes currently playing a race card because negotiations are not working in her favor. Season 13 wouldn't be the first The Real Housewives of Atlanta went on without Nene. She did not hold a peach in season 9 and the ending of the story basically or they're tapping back into it or asking are you ready for Nene less Real Housewives of Atlanta. Taping for season 13 starts in less than 30 days. Um, and I'm like, you know, it's true. How Real Housewives of Atlanta will go on. They got to find somebody interesting definitely to replace, replace Nene and keep up the battling saga of Kenya Moore. Because, you know, Kenya Moore ain't going to like anybody. I, I don't care who they bring to the show. That they ain't gonna, she ain't going to like them. She's going to be a, like Nene, you know, basically uh, trying to run things, trying to say this is her house, this is her camp, da da dee da 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 and she's going to run off anybody that deems to be interesting and in getting press. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know who they will have to bring now. They did say, you know, just out in them streets. We're hearing, I don't know how true it is. It's all allegedly that Tamar Braxton uh, wanted to come on the show. Now, that'd be some real shit. Because if she did come, we didn't have to see anything going on with uh, her family, meaning her sisters and all like that. We could see some taping with her mom. We could see some taping with her boyfriend and her son. You know, I'll say it's all fruitful. However, we, I, I really don't want to see uh, Tony Braxton and Tawanda, and I, I don't want to see him. okay? Uh, no. Um, 
But yeah, Tamar is the one that will get Kenya and Candy and anybody else that want to come out the hut together. Yeah, she can do that. Oh, I've I seen her. We all seen Tamar, especially with her mouth, too. Shoot, she'll cut Kenya down to the floor. But, that, you know, that's just, you know, how I see it. Because she, she got that mouth. She got that clap back. She got that clap clap back. Okay? So that would be interesting to watch if that was to come in true form. Because I really want to phase her back. And, uh, like I said, she's going to be on Merit Boot Camp in July. We'll be definitely reviewing that particular show or uh, season because I, I like to see what Phaedra is giving me. And it's going to give her more starring power to try to come back. And uh, if she does well, she shows out, you know, like making a fool out of herself and all that kind of thing. Bravo will be taking notice and they will have to pay her her worth, okay, when it comes to negotiation to get her to come back. Uh, over there at Real Housewives of Atlanta, hopefully for season 14, but we just don't know. We're going back to the article. It says the network, as well as Nene's manager and publicist, reached out, and apparently they have an issue with the word fired. An official statement from Bravo reads, There is no truth to Nene being fired, and conversations are ongoing. As we said, Nene was not offered a new contract and is attempting to play the race card, hoping to get her job back. Um... <coughs> Then it's a special note that says, to quote any portion of this article, we require a direct link and visible credit to Lil B. Scott. Okay, so I'm like, B. Scott says she ain't taking that shit. Don't come on her platform telling her what's true and what ain't true. Because somebody done definitely leaked a story out there. And if they can't really tell her to take it down without seeking litigation or threatening her with litigation, then it must be some truth to that uh story she put she has put out uh yesterday and she's standing by her word as a true journalist so i i mean hey i ain't got nothing wrong with it if you want to put it out there and he's standing by his shit then go on be scott stand in your shit and let the cookies fall where they may because it's truth out there we just got to work through the bullshit to figure out what's true and what's not now nene like i said Hey, if you look at my videos or whatever, girl, don't bite the hand that feeds you. If you like this stupidness of a show, this mindless drama, you saying it's 80% fabrication, it's entertainment, and 20% is a little truth in there, then go with it, baby. Go with it. But, honey, how much is, a, is money? Is more money that important to you? you? You mean like if you're making, say, just say you're making 10 million with the show. You saying you want 50 million? You want 300 million? girl your worth is not that all of that because like i said they can bring in two more people on the salary that they were paying cynthia and we can see how that roll and they might be a lot more interesting than what you're bringing okay and then your name won't be you know in the highlights anymore and then again maybe it is time for you to uproot and do something else i don't know nene but, you know, don't negotiate too hard because you might negotiate yourself straight on out that dough. Okay? Because they, they really don't have to keep you. And how you've been going out in them streets back and forth, you may, they may have found a loophole to go in and rearrange your contract because you didn't do certain things and you didn't keep your mouth about certain things. I Meaning you ran your mouth too much and now they're trying to do damage control. But the entertainment uh, sector have found more lawyers out there to try to rearrange your contract. And it may not be sitting too well with you or what they're offering you. But you do this shit every time. It's, it's time for you to, you know, do your contract over. I'm like, girl, I, I'm, I'm sick of it. And either play the game that you're in because, you know, it's a troublesome game you're in. Any, anyway, when we're talking about the entertainment field. So... Girl, slow your roll is all I'm saying. Slow your roll before you won't be up there and you have to downsize greatly, okay? But that's all I have for this video, guys. Y'all get down in them comments. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. Is Nene really on, on her way out though? Or is she just playing a PR stunt game just to keep us interested in her and her uh, talent she thinks she brings to the show and this that and the third okay and will kenya be coming back that's another thing uh i personally think she needs to come back she need her coin you know what i'm saying she ain't doing nothing else out, out there um i ain't trying to hate on nobody i'm just kind of pretty much feeling 
what I feel, okay? So don't come for me in them comments. Don't don't be coming in the comments talking about, you like tearing down a black woman? No, I don't. But when black women get on this foolish fuckery, uh, fake, fraudulent show, a reality show, then I'm just going to depict out what I see and I'm going to talk about it, okay? Now, you don't see me talking about Phaedra not being a good lawyer, even though she lost a lot of cases and stuff like that. But I don't go nitpicking with that. I mean, that's her career, you know? That's a uh, very, well nice career to be in when you're trying to represent the underdog and stuff and not people taking advantage of people. And, you know, they're needing her litigation skills and this, that, and the third. Or, you know, there's no doctor on the show here, you know, saving lives and stuff of that nature. No, we're seeing women going around here um, buying clothing stores or renting out space to have clothing stores and to just tear each other down. So if they're tearing each other down on their platform, how can y'all judge me in a sense when I'm just talking with my family about it, all right? We're just having conversation. And I know I have in the family, everybody have their picks, everybody have their likes. So I'm like, represent them, okay? Do what you got to do. But look at the full picture and what they're giving us. If they're really doing bad stuff out here on this show, and then, like I say, Nene be out there in the real life clowning. You know what I'm saying? So you have to call what you see. Or it wouldn't be, okay? But that's all I have for this video, guys. Y'all get down in the comments. Let me know what y'all thought about subject matter. And we'll dialogue some more. Or, if not, I will see y'all next video. Okay? Because you know it'll always be another one. You know it'll be something come across that social media, media trending topics that you know I'm going to talk about. You know that? You all know that, girls and boys, men and women. Okay? I'll see y'all next video. Love and pieces. And, I mean, love and peace. I'm talking about some pieces. Oh, Lord. I'm tired. I must go to bed. But I'll see y'all next video. See you later. Peace.